Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Ashikazi. Starting it off with a big fire here. Um, so, I was hoping to have the beginning of the next phase started this weekend, but I've decided to redesign the map slightly. So, yeah, I'm working on that. I'm working on, there's like two, la two layers of the map. There's the in-close um, tactical portion and then there's the overview tactical portion. Um, so I'm working on the second part of the maps right now. Hopefully I'll have that uh, this week sometime. Um, but I am ready to go with it. I'm just trying to get the maps done. So, uh, yeah. But let's get this battle done today. Now, what I did is I've gone ahead and put together right mm -hmm. a couple of the mechs. I decided to go with... I better find out where the hell these guys are. There's an Ifrit down, Ifrit down there somewhere. Um, can I actually get down this way? I wonder. That's a pretty darn steep cliff, I think. I should be able to get down this way, though. Is this a crevice that I can't get across? I might have landed in a really bad position here. We're going to move over here. I want to see what's over here. Yeah, it'll do. Anyway, oh, we got some stuff on sensors here. No idea what it is. That's that's the Ifrit, Ifrit, whatever you want to call it. So I got the Orion updated, and it's here. We're gonna run it and see how it works. I need to get a, a good uh, optics for it. So its targeting is probably gonna be a little janky to start. And then we put together the the uh, Babkatha. The uh, Archer variant. That thing's pretty interesting, I gotta say. And it was it was really easy to kind of load it out and have it kind of allow me to be happy with it. So um, I'm hoping that works out here. So we'll see. Hey. Um, let's just get up here as far as we can go to see as much as we can see. Throw the link up. I'm probably not gonna fire here in the first turn. I'm just gonna move forward. Unless we get a really good shot. No, that's not a really good shot. He's got his back to us, though. This guy's moved already. 23%. We're going to hold off. They got three... Well, they got the leader and two supporting lances. There might be another unit. This is a four skull ambush mission against uh, Delphi. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, yeah, so everything else is just Waiting the same. So I got Ice House. So this is the Bab Catha. This thing's kind of interesting because it's like super, super stealthy. Um, so I've got four LRMs in this thing. A pair of ER Smalls is backup and a mag shot cannon. This thing actually had a ton of mag shot ammo in it. And I had a half a ton from before. So I'm, because the regular mag shot cannon uses five shots per, uh, per uh, every time it fires. Um, the half a ton wasn't going to do me any good. It was only five turns of firing. So I got a whole ton. I got a ton and a half now. So I have 15 turns of firing of this thing in here. So that's going to be good. Now I'm going to move forward. This thing's not that fast. Pedal to the metal. But I want to use this guy as a stealthy missile unit. See, that's actually pretty good. So this guy's got um, uh Fire control system, predator, and uh, tracker sensors in it. So it's plus four at long range. Or extreme range even, too. Not so good indirectly, though. Um, but we got a wide variety of ammo. Incendiary, Hydra, um, follow the leader and standard. Enough for a fair amount of firing. So we're going to just go ahead and fire at this guy. Uh, let's warlord this. He's probably going to shoot a lot of these down, but we're going to take a shot at him anyway. See what we can get on them. Right, Commander. Seventeen from fifty. Well, we'll burn through his AMS real quick. What do you need? So I was able to kind of get the loadout. Ah, man, you're gonna in a really bad spot. All right, we deal with the fire. We deal with the fire and take a shot. Snubs are pretty low. That's like zero, <laughs> zero heat. Um, we'll just take a shot. Okay, I'm on it. Yeah, well. I missed. 
Yep. So that that like I was saying, that Babcat is actually relatively easy to load out. It being an Omni Mac, it's got a, a wide variety of hard points everywhere, and it's got a uh, the um, cockpit in the, in the torso. Oh my God! Look at the chance to hit with this guy. Say good night, sweet prince. It's not jam on turn one. Aye aye. We missed with one of them. Got the tag on. Ooh, I'm hearing a vehicle over there. Well, that's probably a heavy carrier. Somewhere back here. It's a quiet heavy carrier, no matter where he is. Uh. Commander. Let's get you up here first. Let's move. Because there's a good chance you can shoot this thing down now. Oof, you're not even anywhere near as good as... Really? I must have got really good sensor rolls. That's fine, we'll fire it all. Roger. There you go. Good night. Reporting vehicle destroyed. It'd be nice to be able to pick one of those up. We're low on vehicles for this next uh, this next playthrough. I'd like to get a VTOL if I could. All right, Rusty. Standing by. I'm just gonna move up. We're gonna get our stability back. Get out of the fire. I'm sure it'll spread to our hex the next turn anyway. But ready for order. All right. So here's the Orion. Now the Orion. I don't know. We need to do something with it. It's okay for now. It's really that this guy's design is a direct fire mech. So um, it's got 4-6 movement, which isn't too bad, I guess. Um, unfortunately, we can't get a direct line of sight on anybody at the moment. But we need targeting systems on this guy. That's the one thing we do need. Uh, it's okay for now, but we got follow the leader LRM-20 um, and standard ammo. A pair of LB-10 axes. Mostly with slug. Got a bit of cluster ammo. I only had one ton of cluster. I'm hopefully, hoping to find more. Um, but we got slug and cluster rounds and an ER large laser to kind of round it out. Runs really heat neutral. It's also got... Uh, we got the Guardian ECM. What was I thinking? Was it this guy or... No, it's the, it's the Babcatha I'm thinking of. Yeah, it's just... We'll wait. Babcath has got a, uh, an ability to use the Mimetic Stealth Armor, which adds 5% heat to all the weapons. So I added a, like an extra heat sink. So we're, it, the heat sinking was pretty neutral, so I added one extra, just so that we can go full stealth. And it, it, hopefully we can use it as an augmented LRM boat. And if we get good chances to hit indirectly, then it can just sit and hide. That guy's gotta go. You can just they sit and hide and fire to fire at range. It's all vehicles, man. Really? Cicada, Ostrock, really? Copperheads, useless LRM carrier, yeah. Archer. Our main guy, I think, is over here somewhere. Hopefully he's got some supporting like units him. with him. Let's get on these guys. It'll take a while before those other guys reach us, so... We'll push this way. Where are you? Hiding behind the rock? I'm trying to. Thumper cannon, bomb rack mines. We cannot let him use those bomb rack mines. So he's got to be dropped this turn. Fuck it, let's drop him then. There you go. Shoot these down. Good luck. Gonna need it. Guess I'll give it to him then. <laughs> you just don't got enough oh, AMS, Bubba. I made a mess. Do not have All enough AMS.
I could probably send one mech over here to clean these guys up. This is supposed to be a four skull, man. We'll send the, um... Maybe I should send the Orion over there. I think that's what I'll do. I'm gonna send Bomber up ahead. Uh, how far can we go? It's not bad. There's gotta be one more unit down here somewhere. Oh, did we pick up some... That's not the Archer? That's the Archer. Thought we picked up another mech there for a second. Not seeing anybody. Oh, okay, so that, that was part of this unit. Alright. Alright, makes sense. See if we can get the kill. Nice hits. I need to pick up more uh, AMS Mark IIs. I was hoping to integrate them into the Orion and the um, Babcatha, but just don't have any at all. Face this. Let's go this way. I don't think we can get through that crevice. I really don't think we can. I think we have to go this way. I think I tried this once before. I was in a, I had a match here once before and I tried getting that way and I couldn't do it. I think I got to go back. No target. Might as well just stand the fire cuz why not? Uh where are you here? I hear you. We'll speed this way. Going turbo. Full speed sounds good. Mm hmm. Should we do a uh, check on this guy? 20%? That's not bad. 22 with follow the leader. Might as well use it. We're not going to be able to use it anywhere else. Got it. We're either going to hit or we're not going to hit. We're not going to hit. Oh well. Either they all hit or they all miss. Hey, stay in the crosshairs. Those are really good if you got a good uh, a good pilot and good targeting system, so you can get a good line on somebody, and then just everything just hits. Yeah, thanks for showing up. Damage looks light, Commander. Sure does. Orders. Get that Orion over there. Roger that. I think I should just send him in by himself. Acknowledged. Nothing. Negative damage. I see that. Yeah. All right, we're going this way. I'm going to leave the Orion and the Babcatha back there to take care of those guys. So we're going to go hunt down the main guy somewhere up here. What's up, boss? Got to just get this moving a little quicker. Yep. Let's go find that main guy. Roger. Oh, you're pissing me off. Come on. Send me a real mech warrior. Okay, who's where? Yeah. Skull. Get up to here. Mm -hmm. Firing it all. Lock in target. She should easily be able to kill this thing. Well, once that, uh, once the legend killer cr oh, crests the hill, the archer is pretty much done anyway. We should be pretty good at ra that range. You sure you want to stick your nose out, buddy? What do you need? Doesn't seem like a good idea. Turn ourselves a little right, bit. Full speed. Let's not give that guy back there our back if we can avoid it. Hammer him.
Full sprint sounds good. Uh huh. Copy that. God, the avatar is so slow. What's up, boss? So I heard another vehicle moving. I don't know what that means. Oh, you're going this way. You're going that way. Who's up? What? No. What? Oh, it's this vehicle down here. I heard. Affirmative. Let's get on this guy again. Gonna leave that off. Fire. Ooh, four hits. That's nice. You know, it looked like a hit, but it wasn't. Good to go. All right, full speed. Actually, let's go this way because the Ostrok's over here somewhere. Moving fast. Let's try and get into the Ostrok's face. There he is. Copperhead. From what I remember, Copperhead's got really shitty armor. Handful of damage. Okay. Receiving you. There we go. Affirmative. Get these big guns on this guy here. We'll dump it all into him, why not? I copy. So, the next scenario, I may have talked about this already. I was going to go on to um, a world, like a radiation world, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, I decided I to you? continue along on the uh, primary planet of Astrakhazi itself. Let's go the, uh, let's go this way. Um, so what's team. happening no, is um, House Merrick has decided that uh, the instability on in Astrakhazi, in the Astrakhazi system, um, warrants their attention. So they're sending a, a unit there to try and quote unquote, um, stabilize the planet shoot. again. There's uh, too many mercenaries, there's too many um, bandits. Uh, some of the other houses have taken interest in the planet, so they're trying to stabilize the planet. Another word for installing their own government. So um, the local city-states have gotten together and said, hey man, we don't want these guys here I'm anymore. Okay. They've oh, asked no. us to uh, help them out on in removing them from the planet. So the next battle is going to be us um, taking them on at their main base. Um, and it's going to involve all of my units, plus a unit, a couple of units that you haven't seen yet, and um, it's also going to involve. We're not going to see the combats for them, but it's also going to involve units from the uh, township of Shendi. Oh man, I better not lose anything. My mech's coming apart around me. Yeah. Hey. Um, and a few, and our old enemies. There. Okay. Wait, did we pick up a, we did. Alicorn. Outside. Yes. It's always best if you get the AC kill on Not him. much left of him. Not much left of him. Standing Not at by. all. All right, let's see what we can do with un by unloading on this guy here. How much evasion does he have? I have no idea. Oh, it's the CDA, CDA 5. It's not a bad loadout for a cicada. The armor's actually not that bad either. Not bad at all. Well, that's a really shit chance to hit. We don't have targeting computers in this thing. That's, the, that's one of the problems. Let's go with cluster. Yeah, you know, all of my early yeah. builds are always like that, though. 
until I get like the optics, the um, the optics on the uh, mech, it always ends up being, you know, iffy on the on the first few shots. Once we get proper optics in there, it changes significantly. Oh. Took him down. The chance, yeah, the chance to hit changes significantly. Like the, the optics in this in the Babcat are actually pretty good. What do you need? We're caught between an alicorn and a hard place. Oh shit! Pull me out! <laughs> no shit! Is that... does that... Let's get in the open. Let's move. I'm interested to know what that is... is that all AC-20s? Probably. I, I would love it if they're HVAC 20s. I tried to do a double AC-20 build on the um, Orion. I just couldn't make it work. Attacking for... So they all hit. Okay, that's the main guy. He shouldn't last very long. Copperhead. Standing by. Acknowledged. Okay, just gonna walk it up. Go feet feet hull down. We're gonna max this out. As much as we can. Hopefully they all hit. And oh we hit the side, like Exclusively, pretty much. Firing Spread it around. So the one thing I adjusted, I, I adjusted the um, Halopolis a little bit. I was going to take the sniper off it, and then I thought, nah, forward. we'll leave it on there. See what we can do with it on there. Uh, let's go to... Gotta go that far, huh? Can I get more of a turn this way? I can. We'll do that. Expose a little less of our back, I think, to the enemy. Not much, but it's a little bit. 22. I need better optics on this guy as well. Affirmative. Ooh, we got one on. I'll take that though. I hear you. So yeah, I was gonna do the um, sorry the uh, Halopolis. I was gonna take the sniper off it and try a different build, but um, I decided to leave it on. Let's just murder this Move guy. So the mimetic armor is on. Angels on. So this is giving us, this is integrated too, so you can't lose it. Minus 60% reduced visibility when active. Plus 5% weapon heat generator, plus six heat, heat per turn. Yeah, so I, I've, I'm pretty, I'm pretty heat neutral, relatively heat neutral. Yeah, we need better targeting. If I don't fire the ER smalls, I'm, I'm pretty much heat neutral. So let's go with, Either they all hit or they all miss. Let's go follow the leader on two, standard on two. Actually, let's leave the standard here. Go follow the leader that way. We'll ward it. We're, we will ward or war lord it as well. <laughs> My god, I can't talk. Fire. Time to die. Well, if all the leaders didn't hit. Alright. That guy's pretty stealthy too, though. But yeah, so the Holopolis, um, I kept the sniper. What I did do, though, is I pulled out the reflective coating I had on the, in the center torso, and I replaced it with um, half a ton of armor, uh, because I was able to put clan armor in it, and I could took out the case that I had in the one torso. Um, and then I also... Um, Put in the because I had the industrial armor or the industrial TSM. 
I put in the smoker that I had, the 16 ton smoker. So we're, we're going to get a chance to test that out at some point too. So that's like a rocket launching system that basically adds heat to whatever it hits. So I'm interested to see. It's 16 tons. It's got it's got 20 rockets and five salvos. So hopefully we can get some good use out of it, but we'll see. Commander. All right, don't you? Do, I don't want you to close. Let's just stay back here. Stay, stay turned sideways in case they decide to shoot LRMs at you. Yeah. Okay, do we have... Alright, that's it. Now, I want to get you... Okay, so we can cross there. Gonna let the Babcatha take on the... Uh, Cicada. We'll send the Orion down here to take all these guys on. Alright, so that's getting a little bit more reasonable. And firing. Targets taking a critical hit. I don't know, this thing just kind of fuels underpowered. Waiting on you, Commander. Maybe because it's the chance, like the percentage chance to hit that we have, or what it, I don't know what it is. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Let's go back to standard. Sure. Permanent. Okay, we got the tag on. Orders. Position confirmed. All right. Let's line them up. Roger. There you go. We're not going anywhere. Where are we here? Yeah. Moving to position. Uh, since we have to shoot right through our guy's face, we're going to not shoot. Even though we have good chances to hit, I'm not going to bother uh, trying position to take that shot. Fight. Let's move over here, though. You have permission to fire. Because this guy's being a pain in the ass. Firing all weapons. Yeah, we got one of the lasers on. Nice. Standing by. How close did they get to killing you? Four points. Well, let's just move over here. I'll try. Maybe I shouldn't move you in. If they get an LRM shot on you, they may take it. Yeah, so the next phase of the Battle of Raster Casey, I'm working on the upper level map, the higher level map. What do you so need? it's using the original map that we used. Um, sprint, how far can we... Let's see if we can get Understood. that vehicle. Moving fast. I was going to let the Orion do it, it's just going to take too long. You're just going to take too long, buddy. Let's go with incendiaries. Firing. Oh, there you go. Stole your kill. Vehicle trashed. Anyway, so the upper level map is kind of... It's the original map that we used. Um, that kind of distance. So it's a higher level, you, you know, you hear me? very wide open spaces. And then when we go into uh, the main force attack, it's going to be very, very close in. Uh, even closer than what we had for... Um, the second round where we were in the valley fighting the Red Reapers. It'll be a little closer than that even. Yeah. So the higher level map's gonna have all the divisions and everything marked on it because we've got allies with us. Location confirmed. You're accurate. Let's see if we can get a shot at this guy. I think this guy's got stealth armor. I can't remember. He's got something. I can't remember what it is. Fire man. Okay, a couple hits. 
But yeah, so the upper level, like the higher level map is going to basically be at a battalion level. So we've got several um, allies from Shendi, mostly vehicles. Uh, they've got, I think, two battalions, two battalions, two regiments of vehicles and one battalion. And then they got a couple lances of mechs, which isn't much. And then our allied forces um, that we had faced off against before, they don't have much left because we destroyed most of their mechs. But they've got a handful of mechs uh, and some vehicles that they're going to be using for a feint attack. And then we're going to be attacking the Merrick's main base. You're giving it to us, buddy. You're giving it to us. Yep. There was a shot here. Right here. I'll do what I can. That's only 20, well, 22. So we'll take it. I'm taking um, the shot. So yeah, once we get closer, it'll be all the individual units, and then all of my units will be on the battlefield. Um, so I'm just kind of working on finishing up the maps. Yeah. Uh, let's get to here. And let's put a lot of lead in this guy's face if we can. Yeah, Commander. You know, I have to say, out of all the builds that I've been doing, On the move. I'm liking the Ultra Auto Cannon 5 builds the best. MRMs aren't that. bad, but those Ultra Auto Cannon 5s, st steady stream of damage it seems. Especially if they got good targeting computers with them and the pilots are good, right here. good enough to uh, handle all the recoil. Say so. Commander. All right, let's see if we can get some. Follow the leader on this guy. Yeah, see, it's a lot. Uh, yeah, this guy's like a regular mech with no real like um, ECMs or anything. So we're far better off. I'm gonna do this on this guy too. Right. Not a lot of stability damage either with those ultras. Hmm. Nice. Or the LVXs, I mean. SRMs are out. No I guess you went. really have to uh, use slug to get the instability. All right, let's fire on this guy. You're not gonna like this. Uh, he doesn't care. He's barely even being hit. Ready for well, order. now he's in trouble, though. <laughs> Confirmed. He's lost all his stability. Good night, sweet prince. Affirmative. Not surviving that. Not at 40 Target tons, you're not. Yep, you run. You run. Yeah. So the Merrick forces, um, when we're facing them, we're going to be divided up into lances. So um, we're Here not going to be go. running with, with uh, eight mechs at all. It'll be the most we'll have on the battlefield at one time is six mechs. Um, I also got to still pick up a couple of pilots for this group. Um, I'm still looking for extra pilots. So I think I'm down two, and I'm down two and two vehicle pilots, I think. But I got 12 mechs now that I can field. So it's going to be two lances of six and two vehicles each. So they're going to be they're going to be eight units at Open most out. on the battlefield. So we're going to be looking for mostly four to five skull missions. Let's go with slug and firing. Well, only marginally better. Follow the leader hit. Scored a critical hit. Yeah, I don't know. The, I mean, Receiving you. I just don't think we had the right stuff to really outfit this uh, Orion. Here. But it's a um, it's a loadout that I don't mind. Yep. So we'll see how it goes, and then um, we'll decide after Roger that what we're that. doing, whether we keep it or not. 
I'd still like to try and get a pair of what Ultra 20s on you? that thing, but I, I just don't see it being possible. Actually, I can probably... Oh, I can't fire. Gotta move. You betcha. I'd love to know what these guys see. Like, how much they can see of my guy. Let's fire this. Roger that. All out of long range missiles, Commander. But that thing is so hard to, like, with the mimetic stealth, like the minus 60% sensors. Oh, they're still hitting it. It's also got the uh, Angel it? ECM suite and I'm everything. Oh, I didn't get it. I didn't get any of those. Right here. Mm hmm. Yep. Lacerator. Here we go. Scored a critical hit. Mm. That should be. This should be the last turn for them. Yeah, you stay right there. If you say so. Let's try and finish this guy up with incendiaries. Roger that. I should have warned it. But... That's enough anyway. Oh yeah, I forgot. We got move after shooting on this guy because of the cockpit. Cockpit's in the CT. What do you need? It was interesting because I was gonna um. I was loading it out, and I'm like, oh, I can put a uh, LRM-20 in the head. <laughs> I'm like, nah, I better yeah. not. Holding and cooling. I ended up putting Confirmed. the Bloodhound probe in the Holding. head, though. Confirmed. Holding. All right, buddy. What's your chance? Pretty darn good. Let's hit him with everything. Not enough. Critical hit, Commander. Well, at least the uh, Orion is a good brawler. Mm -hmm. I'm going. And it's got half decent armor, so I can put it at the front for a while. This guy has no weapons left. Good night. There it is, folks. Well, that was quick. Dropped him. That was four skull assassinate. Mission successful. So I'm hoping to have that first video um, out this week at some point. It's going to be basically the map overview. And then um, ooh, we want to grab the Freet. That's only got 163 armor, eh? But it's got a Thumper Cannon. AMS Mark II. What does this guy have? Two mag shot, AOE rockets, tandem rockets, snub nose PPC, ATGM missile racket. Now that's like, now what would you choose out of the two of them? Something with well, this guy's got less armor too, though. Can something with continuous fire from long range, like a snub nose PPC, or the thump? Well, I mean the thumper. We know the thumper's got uh, inferno, but they're gonna target it. That's the thing. The enemy will target it. Yeah, he had plus 30 range. AC 20 defiance. Wait, is that... Uh, we have one piece of the Alicorn, so it's a 90... Look at the armor on this thing. Let's drop that in there. I'm probably going to grab the pieces of the Efreet. Although there's, there's two AMS Mark IIs. Oh, man. I said I wanted those. <sighs> Do we grab one AMS and then the three of free parts and forget the Alicorn? Probably. Let's just do it. I want to be able to field at least one other air unit in the battle coming up. So we'll go that route. And I'll probably put together the uh, Durab, the one with the uh, Thumper in it. A little better armor, I think, is always better. And then the Thumper can stay at range. Yeah. All right. Done. 
Don't look at any more. I'm just going to take something else. All right, Chiquita part. LRM carrier part. Three LRM 20s. Ostrox, Scimitar. We've got one of the AC 20s. So that's an option for the Orion then, is we could put an AC-20 Defiance in it. Instead of going with an LBX build, let's go with an AC-20 build. That's a possibility. Regular XL can go. Got my C-Bills turned up a little bit, I think, with these guys. Um, standard can go. Heat sinks can go. That can go. Ooh, that's nice too. That can probably go in the Orion as well. Get rid of that. Shape charge thumper ammo. Plus one accuracy, 20 rounds. Hmm, interesting, okay. All right, well, so yeah, the next, uh, when when the uh, next part of the series starts, like I said, we'll do, uh, I'll show you the overview map, we'll go to the tactical level, I'll show you where our, all my units are set up, and then the first battle is going to be the new, uh, one of the new light units that I've created, um, the scout units. So that'll probably end up being the first battle, because I already know what the first battle is. Um, so that will happen first and then we'll get right into the bigger combats after that Hopefully we'll see how it goes. We'll see how the map plays out. All right So I'm gonna end this episode here guys I hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like if you haven't subscribed Please feel free to subscribe you can also drop in your comments in the comment section down below until next time. We'll see you later